So over the last few months now, we have been converting this van right here into the ultimate overland camper build. And what happened is I basically just got started on the electrical system and I got so freaking excited about it that I decided to make this video. I truly think that this electrical system that I'm installing in this van is the rare industry innovation that actually changes the entire game. So what we're gonna be talking about today are these three components right here, which are the entirety of a camper electrical system made by a company called EcoFlow, and this is their power camp. So at this point, we've pretty much just mounted the components, but if this video gets at least a thousand likes, I will do an entire install video on the EcoFlow power kit. So this is my third van build. In my previous two vans, I did the classical or traditional electrical systems where I bought all of the individual components by themselves. So I bought batteries, I bought an inverter, solar charger, alternator charger, fuses, distribution, all of that stuff by itself, and then wired them together. A lot of the times with hand crimped wires that I had to make myself. And when I finally embarked on this van build, I had heard about the EcoFlow power kit. At first, I thought that this was gonna be basically another one of those portable battery banks. Like, you know, there's 10 different brands on the market that people use. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure if I wanna go that simplistic. This is definitely a replacement for a full blown camper electrical system. So a 30 second overview of what the system is. It's the full blown camper electrical system in three components. First things first, you have the battery. That's what this guy is right here. I chose the five kilowatt hour versions that come in all different sizes and you can stack them to make a massive electrical system if you choose to do so. After the battery, we get into what I think is kind of the magic of this system. First component being the power hub, this guy right here. This is like three or four components all in one small size. This thing's a super powerful inverter, so it takes the battery power and turns it into 120 volts, so you can use normal wall outlets. It is a solar charger, so you can plug your solar panels directly into this thing. It is an alternator charger, so you can plug your vehicle's electrical output directly into this and it will charge the house battery. And this is the thing that you plug the control panel screen into so that you can like see the percentage that your battery has left and all that stuff. And then the power hub connects to this guy right here, which is an electrical distribution panel. But the cool thing about it is that it's distribution for both 120 volt as well as 12 volt accessories. So in the rest of this video, I kind of want to compare the pros and cons of this system. First big benefit is that this electrical system is incredibly compact. It is like half the size, maybe even less than half the size of a similarly specced traditional electrical system. If I were to build a traditional electrical system with all of these features and functionality into this van, it would have taken this entire cabinet. <laughs> and instead, we can now put the water system in here and we can put like a microwave and cooking setup on the other side. Insane, insanely compact. Benefit number two is that this system, connecting it like as the installer is 10 times easier. So all of the cables and connections for this entire system come in the kit and they all have the connectors pre-installed on them, which means that installing the system is a lot closer to like plugging in your phone to charge at night than it is building and wiring up a traditional electrical system. Not to mention this system has all of the fuses and breakers and safety components built in. You don't have to think about or worry about them. So on the screen real quick, I'm gonna pop up the electrical system diagram for the last van build that I did and now I wanna to switch to the electrical diagram for this system. There's like 30, 40, 50 different things that you have to order to build a traditional electrical system. And with this, it's just one. And the last major benefit that I can think of for this guy here, overall, I think this is just way better for whoever's actually camping in the van when the van build is done. The traditional system, like using all those Victron components, after you're done setting up your system, you have to like configure your battery size and the chemistry of your batteries and put all of these different variables into the app just so that you can get a proper percentage reading on how much percentage your batteries have left. For the first six months that I had my previous van's electrical system done, I had messed up one of those variables and my percentage reading was completely off. I was like one mistake away from accidentally draining my batteries way down past zero percent and permanently damaging them. And that ends up creating this kind of like anxiety around not really trusting the data that you're seeing in the app. Whereas with this system, once you've connected everything together and you download the app and connect the app to your stuff, it is just accurate. 
Everything is 100% dialed. Those are the main benefits for the system, but as with any new game-changing technology, there are also a couple of detractors. First things first, the one that you guys probably all guessed, this is probably gonna be more expensive than a similarly specced traditional electrical system. But to be honest, it's not that much more expensive. My back of the napkin math, if you were to use high quality components and build a exact same size electrical system in a traditional way, this is about 10 to 20% more expensive. And I guarantee you a good percentage of the stuff that you order for a traditional electrical system by the time you get to actually installing it, you're gonna realize, crap, this is the wrong thing. It's past the return window and you've effectively wasted your money or need to sell it on the secondhand market. That counts as cost too for a traditional system. Not a cost here. But yeah, overall, I still think that this is about 10 to 20% more expensive. That's definitely a downside. The other big downside is that this is a full proprietary system. This is a pretty big downside for me and something I think about when I'm building vans a lot because I want these campers to outlast the vehicles that they're built on top of. And if you build proprietary stuff like this, you're effectively dependent on like this company continuing to exist. You're dependent on the replacement parts if they end up making new versions and then this is an old one. With a traditional system, if you know your inverter goes out, you can just buy any modern inverter and connect that to your system and it will work. Whereas in this case, if the power hub goes out, you kind of got to get another power hub from EcoFlow. And to be honest, I have worked directly with EcoFlow customer support before and they're mediocre at best. The one way to mitigate this particular proprietary downside is to buy it from a distributor who themselves have really good customer service. And the link that I've put in the video description here for where I recommend buying this power kit is from a company that has incredibly good customer service. I've bought tons of stuff from them over the past like I don't know, six, seven years, they will literally like call up EcoFlow for you and use their distributor leverage to get the stuff that you need. But yeah, there is still a risk in it being a full on proprietary system. I wanna keep this video short and sweet, but I was just way too excited about this thing to not make a video on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.